TV's The Cube. I'm John Furrier, the founder of SiliconANGLE. I'm joined with my co-host. I'm Dave Vellante of Wikibon.org. And John, we saw a you know, number of segments today where we heard that sound matters and video matters and the back end matters and this whole thing that we've been talking about, about mobile, social, cloud, and big data all coming together. And nowhere do you see it more than at the NAB show. Yeah, I mean, I, we said early on, we started out the morning, uh, NAB represents a, a disruption in the media business, which affects everything, the technology, the customers, the advertisers, the solutions, the business models, uh, the revenue, the business mo and financing, et cetera. So I think what I learned this morning, Dave, was one, I think we made a good call on, on, on framing that, but more importantly is that there's a lot more storage going on, obviously, in the world than than in this area than, than most people talk about. So I think storage was one. The creative uh, advancements in the software has been fantastic. We saw Adobe, uh, and we're also seeing the ability to do edit. We saw the studio in there. So I think that what I, what I extract out of that, that uh, content is, is that I think we're going to see a massive boom of creativity and new products come from the marketplace. I think as the technology underneath creates this enabling environment like with Intel and with cloud and with social networking, et cetera, social media, I think you're going to see a whole new set of creativity un be unleashed on the marketplace. You know, I remember watching the stream that you guys did, SiliconANGLE, had, you were at the, the, the Node.js Summit in January, and the real theme there was the, the program of productivity exploding, a lot more tools making it easier for the masses to, to program, and there's, a, there's an analog here where you're seeing a lot more tools, editing tools, and, and very high-end you know, video t production things are traditionally high-end. The economics are bringing that down to many, many more people, and you're seeing a productivity boom and a creativity boom all around media. Yeah, and, and it's all about the products, too, like the cameras. It's always been a camera. What's the new gadgets and the cameras? But it's not only just the camera anymore. The camera is now multifunction. It's a lot of technology inside the devices and outside, including the software. And I'm really impressed with this you know, uh, site deck, the epiphany walls, we were calling it, because I think that represents represents kind of the future, this idea of bringing production and motion picture-like capabilities down to the masses. So I'm really excited by one, that product. Two, the other thing that kind of uh, um, uh, came at me today on theCUBE was this notion of NetOps. So we talk about DevOps on SiliconANGLE, where in the cloud business like Node.js, where developers are really driving the change. And I think, I think what I'm going to see here in this market is the networking business around media, CDNs, and the tech involved is going to have a developer changeover. I think you're going to see a different kind of developer. And that's going to be an area that I'm going to keep my eye on over the next year, is this, what is a developer in a network operation environment? Not as same as cloud in terms of the ops side, IT ops or the DevOps, because DevOps is a little bit shaky in terms of obviously a lot more frameworks and open source involved, but I think networking ops is a, is a new epiphany from this morning. Yeah, you mentioned storage before and then the other, we're obviously inside the Intel booth. You, you see a number of their, their partners displaying and you know, a lot, of, a lot of companies, the, the entire industry in, a in essence is betting on you know, Moore's Law there's no more confusion about which technology, which standard. I mean, it's pretty much standardized. And so, you know, the innovation is really around building value ar around that core capability. Yeah, and I think the ultimate walk away for the folks out there, if you're, if you're watching, um, is to understand this. The marketplace is going through a massive change. I think things that you can see in the consumer landscape like mobile, social media, social networking, the impact of things like social technologies, has created an environment where the actual tech involved, the networks all the way up to the actual devices themselves are so advanced and like the business models and the kind of the value activities that go on for a lot of the businesses that are in the, in the broadcasting media space are going under radical change. And I think that's going to create a lot of opportunities, a lot of mystery. As we say, Dave was in our last cube, a lot of margin and mystery. And so I think there's going to be an opportunity for those uh, innovators to take advantage of that. And for the people who are laggards, they will go out of business. And I think Kodak, to me, represents the prime poster child example of what, what it means to go out of business. A company that literally solved a lot of photography problems, um, but is it worth zero? And a company like Instagram, eight people, can off the back dollars. of the iPhone can sell for a billion dollars. So I think, I think there's going to be a lot of opportunity, a lot of change, and it's going to be all around us, and I think it's going to be a phenomenal opportunity to watch. Well, too, as well. I mean, I know you've studied the early days of cable and looked at ESPN as sort of uh, uh, applying to some of our business, and we had uh, Andrew Cross, who's the CTO of New Tech on, enabling a whole new breed of companies, you know, like ours and many, many others, to just go on the internet and broadcast to literally millions of people, and now you're seeing some of these higher end production quality capabilities with the economics coming down where 
the masses can start to deliver some real value to yeah. audiences. Well, two, two things on that point that I see happening that's evident, obvious, is that the advertising market is under a massive transformation. Advertising is failing. The idea of print advertising and video advertising in the old measurements of like gross rating points is going away. Vertical programming is one. You mentioned ESPN. I think what cable did to franchises like MTV and ESPN and CNN, I think is happening right now in the notion of social. Social distribution, the people on phones, people collaborating individually, not necessarily through some sort of choke point or broker um, or one intermediary like a broadcaster, is changing the game. And I think the, n the new opportunity is the next CNN, the next ESPN are out there. I think the content market will, will, will shake that out. Looking at Netflix today, calling out Comcast on net neutrality. I think you're going to see a massive surge from the bottom up of content producers that will be the next ESPN, whether it's the queue for ESPN of tech or whether it's someone for news or in a vertical. I think you're going to see a lot of vertical franchises emerge that are going to be very, very valuable because they produce really good content, good analysis. And guess what? They got the technology to do it. They got the creative capability to to, to make that with the cameras and, and, the, and the software, it doesn't cost a lot, and distribution is free on social networks. And I think and that is the fundamental change that's going on. And the cycle of innovation is much, much faster. I mean, we, well, we, well, we joke about Wolf Blitzer and the camera and, and the Gulf War and you know, how fuzzy that was, but now you're seeing, as I say, these production qualities coming to the masses, yeah. and the, the acceleration of the innovation is much, much faster than it's ever been. Well, we're going to be here tomorrow, again, same time, at 9 o'clock in the morning, day two, broadcasting 2.12. So uh, we're going to bring you all the coverage and in-depth interviews. We'll be talking about the news we'll be scouring from this afternoon on the floors. We'll bring that to you tomorrow morning in our news segment. And uh, here, the Intel Experience Studio is a fantastic environment where a lot of great technology is being demonstrated. This afternoon, you're going to see here I at NAB a lot of demonstrations, highlighting, showcasing all the technology. Um, this is theCUBE headlining. Intel, studio experience. I'm John Furrier with Dave Vellante. This is theCUBE, and that's a wrap for today. See you tomorrow, everybody.